I feel honored that they are trying to keep the uh, veteran players and old players still involved with the club because there's a lot of history there. So I was very happy to do it. Perth is community-based because uh, we, get, we got great fans from the best fans in the league. And, and, you know, we have to go out and do the work and working with the community, working with the young kids and stuff. And, and also you have to put in the work for yourself. And we took pride in our fitness and putting in that type of work and, uh, and it showed on the court. Uh, this just shows you the progression of where the Perth Wildcats came from. Traveling over and playing against the NBA teams uh, in preseason games. And uh, that means they go back to be better prepared. And you got other NBL team doing the same. So that means the league has been elevated and the fans are going to get a better product. In 95, we had won the uh, NBL championship there in Perth in our home court. And we had a flight out the next morning to fly to London. Uh, to, to play against uh, Houston Rockets at that stage, which uh, well, they, had, they had just won their championship. So it was a star-studded team, and uh, that was our first taste of uh, playing against an NBA team. And it was uh, very exciting, and uh, players got to learn a lot from it. Uh, I think, you know, just from the progression of, of time that the talent is, is, is I think, is be better. A lot, a lot of the players have developed because they've gone through a, a series of, of development over the years. But uh, the NBA also have got to improve. So it'll be interesting to see. But either way, the club, they can't, they can't lose because whatever happened, the results going to be the experience they gain from that is going to prepare them for a better uh, NBL season.